good beautiful morning everyone we're leaving the woodlands which is just north of houston driving to san antonio but today we had to stop at starbucks first but you guys know what to do grab yourselves a tasty treat and a beverage your choice and keep your hands arms feet and legs inside this vlog at all times and join us for this ride from the houston area over to the san antonio area so we're grabbing a starbucks grab first which means coffee for mark and i a cake pop for a teddy boo and what does lucy get let me open the door sweetie oh she's getting a pop cop is that good how's your cake pop teddy good we did have real breakfast at the hotel by the way so <laughs> oh good good pop cop west giving you the update here. It's about 9, 12 a.m. Central Turn time. right toward Pinecroft Drive, then turn right onto Pinecroft Drive. And uh, we're looking at about three hours, four minutes across to the KOA. Turn right onto Lake Woodlands Drive, then make a U-turn at Pinecroft Drive. We'll obviously be making some stops probably along the way. Temperature is like in the 70s, I'm guessing. I'll show you in a minute when he's going. We are going to cut through Houston to save on tolls. You can go out around Houston, but it would cost you tolls. So we're going to just go through. <laughs> on to the first highway. So we are headed down 45 south from the Woodlands region here north of Houston. So far, things flowing right along. Not bad, not bad. two lanes to take exit 51 for I-610 West. Yeah, what she said. I didn't even have to tell you. Use the right two lanes to take exit 51, the right. then use the right two lanes to turn slightly right onto the I-610 West ramp. Here we go. Use the right two lanes to turn slightly right onto the I-610 West ramp. Continue on I-610 West for five miles. Teddy's enamored that this is a space city. He only knows Titusville as being a space city. And he's like, space city? And we're like, yeah, Houston. It's a space city too. Above it, do you know? Uh, New York. That would be one. L.A. That would be two. Miami. Chicago. Chicago. Really, Miami's not. Miami's smaller than Houston. Evidently. That's fascinating. That Miami is smaller than Houston. Wow. New York, L.A., Chicago, then Houston. Interesting. Is it in that order? Yes. New York, L.A. Yes. Yeah, New York, LA, Chicago, then Houston. Wow. I had no idea. Thank you for that trivia bit, babe. You're welcome. Really, I just, I guess after being near Miami, you find it, you know. I've now driven in all four. I know it, we have. No. Y'all, I haven't really driven in Chicago. I've been I through have. the very tip of, you have. I've been through the very, very bottom, like, tip, tip of it. Interesting. Teddy's happy. 
happy that Houston has an Ikea. I don't think this Ikea is all over Texas, honey. And now, we are on 10 West, headed to San Antonio. She's not happy with us, but Daddy found a Bucky's, which is great, because people need a restroom break, so this works out perfect. Especially since that's red right now. So we'll get off here, have a little leg stretch, potty break. Look, it's Bucky's Boulevard, Dad. <laughs> Bucky's Boulevard. Daddy found a Bucky's Wow, Daddy found a Bucky's. In a quarter mile, merge on I-10 West. Now the red's still sitting there waiting for us, but that's okay. We had a nice stop at Bucky's. We all took turns. Got a pressed penny out of it. Even Lucy got a nice little walk out of it. We didn't really spend any money, but we certainly, with our eyeballs, racked up enough dollar signs that we could potentially spend, huh, Daddy? Yeah. That was a nice Bucky's. They all are nice. Continue but... on I-10 West for 158 miles. Just get past this slow part. Katie, things start to spread out a bit more here. We're looking at about two hours still to the KOA. At least now I can... <laughs> Teddy's already planning out his Teddy tour. It's advertising. Yeah, he's advertising. Check out Teddy's channel, his own YouTube channel, Teddy's Treats and Tours. Go check it out, he says. Oh, there's that Stephen Austin State Park. I've seen about that. Starting to open up a lot more, get a different terrain here as we're going west. We're going through kind of a construction area too. The clouds are <laughs> quite thick. We're gonna pull over here in about, I don't know, 12 miles or so. And uh, I'm gonna run into Walmart for a few snacks and stuff. Mark's teasing Teddy because I bought Lucy some begging strips. Blueberries? You can see oh, the tail the just going. She, oh. So I also got like raspberries and blueberries. It was a really small Walmart, but let me tell you, I am not in Florida City anymore. Oh, those are good. That was lovely. Staff were nice. The place had real stuff. The prices were cheaper, way cheaper than Florida. Way cheaper. Are they good? Save Those some. blueberries are really good. Can I save some for mom too? We uh, had a nice stop at a rest area and I would have filmed because we had fun walking around. It was a beautiful rest area. Texas interstates have some of the best rest areas in it. Just so windy. And that is gonna be a problem with Texas. Texas is usually windy. So I just didn't take my phone out with me, but we had fun. Lucy got a really good walk. We all got to use the potty. Got a good leg stretch. Uh, Mark and Teddy were playing a uh, hamburger order up window there at the little picnic table. Uh, really, really clean restrooms, just really nice. If I had realized that was right there, I would have, I was telling Mark, I would have waited. We would have enjoyed our snacks actually at a picnic area, but well, it's gonna take us a while to learn, you know, learn our state, learn where things are, so. And it's a big state to learn. But that was nice, that was that was a nice leg stretch anyway. So now we are looking at about an hour, a little over an hour and a half to the KOA that we're going to. Which, we're going slow anyway, because you can't even check into cabins until like three or four, so. Really enjoying our day. Climate's really changing again. We're having some mesquite come into play here. About 39 minutes from our KOA that we're staying at. You have. Still pretty cloudy, but all we really had is one little minor spin. 
spit, or barely spit rain for like a few seconds. It, well, sometimes it does, honey. Depends on what part of Texas you're in. Funky cloud cover. We are officially in San Antonio. I don't know, this this ride vlog was a little different. Um, Cause we didn't really stop anywhere major for snacks. It was still enjoyable. We'll have to see, we'll have to see when I go to edit. I might have to combine it with yesterday's. Put it on Teddy's treats and tours. <laughs> That's his answer to it, Daddy. Yeah. I am going to do the KOA separately because that is out of our pocket, so I can do an official review on that. Uh, Just do a teddy tour too. my preference. Yes, you can do a Teddy tour too. So I'm going to wrap this up. And then we'll see. We're in San Antonio for a couple of days. And uh, we'll see what we do around there. And then I'll probably do another drive type vlog when we leave San Antonio on Sunday and head to Fort Stockton. So peace and love, gang. Keep adventuring. And we will see you on that next one.